I bought a bookshelf on Gumtree recently. Um, it, it was an amazing experience. I'll quickly tell you about it and then I'll read the book. But I found it strange because it, it made me start to think about the way like our methods of communication have sort of changed over the years. You know, in the old days, if you wanted a bookshelf, you'd just go see Gareth the bookshelf guy because he was the dude in your tribe that made the bookshelves. He had a little bookshelf cave. He was reputable. Now any mad bastard can sell their shit on Gumtree. You know what I mean? As a species, we're sort of able to cope with knowing and, and gossiping about around like 100 or 150 people. That's like the limit of our tribe. Any more than that, it starts to get confusing, which is why we created abstract constructs like territories and deities to unite larger groups of people under an imaginary common factor. And it works a treat because we only really gather en masse on special occasions. But I think like social media and it's fucking all that up, you know? And I think we're, we're able to deal with the thousands of people we're connected to on a daily basis. And as a result, we neglect our immediate 150, you know? That's why I never get invited to parties anymore. It's not because I ramble on about veganism and fisting old ladies. <laughs> It's because I'm not on Facebook and everybody just assumes you are. I am so behind on the births, deaths and marriages of my friends that I feel like the time traveller's wife every time I go to a party. I'm like, this is uh, Tim, he's our son, he's six now. Fucking didn't even know you were pregnant. <laughs> Anyway, and you know smartphones aren't that great. You know that, right? They're not. They're not that great. You don't need the internet in your pocket. You work at Coles, OK? You're not working for the president. <laughs> you don't need it. You don't need that much information. And also, what was the point of developing opposable thumbs for you to take a photo of your head, <laughs> post it on the internet, and then just stand by for validation? <laughs> No-one gives a fuck about your head. <laughs> in order to gain permission to post a photo of their own head on the internet and stand by for validation. <laughs> the people who give a fuck about your head will at some point see it in real life. <laughs> fuck your head and the neck it rode in on. <laughs> your vanity is sucking up my bandwidth. <laughs>